Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with me, Get Daved. So, uh, we're on our way to an execution. Our own. So, not a huge fan of that part. Looks like I can't really run anywhere. Giant cannon poster, though. Always good to raise awareness about your weapons. For now, all you can really do is go to the stage, I guess. I suppose in a way they're right. Wow, you're actually telling people that? How shockingly honest. This woman are sick. Doesn't it spark empathy? By a gas? So, to add to the painful irony, Cloud's gone, Aerith's gone, and now Tifa's getting gassed with a key just out of her reach. And weapons coming! Maybe he'll kill the rest of us. Nobody left to watch your execution. Yay, it's Kate Sith here to rescue us. Also, no weapon on, or no material on Kate Sith. I'm not really sure how his equipment is. I guess not bad. Unfortunately, Barret's the only tough one in this pairing. The enemies aren't too bad at this point, though. There's some tougher ones just outside those doors. They know. They know only one of them is a threat. Oh, come on! There we go. Kate Seth just couldn't have checked his equipment before he came to rescue everybody. Huh! Fair enough. Well, it looks like these. Either a situational conform- I guess not, actually. Would have been easier to betray us all. Alright, you can have some semi-respectable equipment. And... Guess we'll give him some Red 13 stuff. I don't think I'm gonna miss any of that in the immediate future, so... Goodness, the controls can sometimes be a little sticky in this game. It doesn't support analog input.
Well, at least we're not in a hurry to get out of here. Our big cannon. See, I understand the need for all this protocol. But it just seems like, I don't know, they spent a lot of time, some precious minutes, getting authorization and everything. I mean, really, what else are you going to use this cannon for? We hit it. Quite before the storm. That was simple. Here it comes. Now there's multiple weapons as we've observed. This one is Sapphire Weapon. A lot of people thought there was a secret to it or anything, or something like that, but, uh, nope. It's here right now. Yeah, it looks like you aren't scaring it off. Oh, he's screwed. Yeah, try not to inhale there. So there's not much you can do for Tifa, to be honest. So we head on out. We head on out! way to the airport. I believe it's to the left. Actually, left or right will probably do. Okay, apparently not. Alright, Kate Sith, you know where you're going and I don't. As part of Junon, you could actually access earlier. Um, I didn't show it, but 
Oh, these guys. These are soldier second classes. They're pretty tough. I have a double attack that's a little painful. Anyway, yeah, this spot in Junon, there's a little... I don't know how to describe it. Car elevator gondola... Segway? That you can take to get to an elevated place in Junon. Uh, Heidegger freaked out at us as we were doing a demonstration the first time we came through. We were with a huge group of soldiers. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. As a matter of fact, it's so much like where we are right now. It is! Oh, here I am. It's like those soldiers aren't in the mood to talk. This person's not here if you don't have Yuffie yet. Because you can get Vincent or Yuffie way later in the game, or not at all. Everybody's key on that airport. Alright, make sure her gear is good. And star pendant, we can do better than that. I guess, uh... Jeez, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Transfer what we can of Tifa's equipment and maybe Red's? I don't want to mess up my Materia configuration too much. And cover. Yeah, maybe we'll leave that turned off for now. home free. Now the only question is what do we do about Tifa who is getting gassed to death? And this giant gun pointed at us. I bet you're vulnerable to lightning. Rocket launching gun, even worse. Counterattack. That's gotta do it. All right. And after this, we should be home free. Ooh, we just got fire three, everybody. Or Fyraga, as it is more commonly known in later games. Unfortunately, in this one, it's not that great. Ever since Final Fantasy IV, it hasn't been that good. Based on the giant airship behind us and the airplane to Barrett's right, I'm really sure we're at the airport. Oh well. So, kind of like the Assassin's Creed control schema here, you just have to very carefully look at what you want to do. So legs twice to get the key. Now. Her arms are both in you <laughs> tied down right now, but if we do head and legs at the same time... And then head and left arm. But she's got the key in her mouth. And now she's got full use of her left arm, so... 
We can move around now. Still getting gassed, but... Now she's just trapped in a room with no airflow. And a dilute amount of toxic gas. And that's the end of Sapphire Weapon, everybody. Again, on the interwebs, some people are like, Hey, how do you... Don't you have to kill it after that? It had its head blown off. Alright, and we can climb out here and make our escape with Tifa. I'm not sure what happens if you let a guard reach you. Oh. Looks like that may not be an issue. Way to roll out of it to reduce the pain from falling a hundred feet. So she's landed on top of the cannon. And you can only really go this way. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's the best idea. To run out to the edge of this cannon. One, I think it would be very hot. And two, this is about as much of a dead end as you can get. You're a sadist. So we have a little bit of a face slapping mini game. And I don't like to lose. Especially to Scarlet, she's the worst. See if it could take all of you in a fight. This has got to be one of the most dangerous things you can possibly do. Jump off of a cannon from a moving airplane and grab a rope that's swinging on all of its axes. <laughs> but the good news is we're home free. And we have the high wind now. Which is good, because the game kind of got depressing for a while there. from getting slapped in the face. I thought you... eh, whatever. It kind of seemed like Kate Sith was in on most of the details. Oh well. Let's fix up our materia configuration here. Now that, uh... 
Cloud's no longer in the picture. Tifa is essentially the leader of the group. Oh, we've done it again. There we go. And there's sort of a, a different subquest going on now. But we'll learn more about that very shortly. Yeah, Yuffie. Always struggling with her motion sickness. Sure. Yeah, I've noticed he has that trait. Notice he does that too. Well, if he can get past the cussing, he's kind of got a warm heart. Nice. No big deal. It was a great story. I laughed, I cried, I hurled. By not giving information to your allies? Usually that's to prevent them from having the information interrogated out of them, but what if they're already captured? I think that rule no longer applies. Oh well, I'm just happy we're all here. And indeed, it was originally a Sid's airship. <laughs> From her point of view, Cloud just left. She's been asleep the whole week. Information Shinra. Be careful, Sid. This crew's prone to mutiny. What's that sad face for? Oh, no reason, you dumbass. Why are you asking in the negative? It's very strange in English. Well, Sephiroth's kind of out of the picture for now, but... That's right. I ain't getting off this train we're on. Gonna have to agree with Barrett on this one. It's a rough week, Tifa, but you gotta be strong. Yeah.
You'll be able to see him. That part's definitely true. The high wind is a wonderful way to get around this game. Well, what a horrible thought. Oh. So there is somewhere out there where the life stream gushes up. We just have to find it. Maybe he's resurfaced there. Alright, so we just have to run to the operations room now. The high wind is basically our base for the rest of the game. Most of the crew is going to be in the bridge. Yuffie's usually found just over here, trying not to throw up. A job well done. Alright. Let me go with Yuffie. And, uh, yeah, Sid, I think. Yeah. So we'll have to do a little bit of materia juggling. You know what, uh, now's a pretty good time for us to end the video, I think. I'm gonna off-screen juggling my materia around, and then we're gonna fly the high wind. I'll see you in the next video.